The Maharishi University of Management Sustainable Living Center is the first of its kind. This building goes beyond the usual concept of a green building, which is measured primarily in terms of its carbon footprint. The Sustainable Living Center is actually beyond carbon neutral, creating more energy than it uses. The vision for this center is that it will be a building that teaches, a building that utilizes the most practical green building techniques and showcases them through informative displays to students and visitors. Completion is scheduled for late fall 2010. I think is significant about this building is that none of the technologies in it are new. They're all state of the shelf. So what that means today on Earth Day is that we can actually follow the lead that this building is an example for. It's setting the highest standard in the world for sustainable building and it's one that anybody can achieve. Those of you who are here today who will be here 40 years from now uh, I hope you remember this moment and this, the great symbolic nature of this building. I congratulate uh, David and Dow and all of the great students from the Sustainable Learning Program who've been a part of this great project. Uh, we look forward to the completion of this and I hope to be back for the grand opening very, very soon. This building will be built according to the principles of LEED Platinum. It will meet those certification standards. It will also be built according to the certification standards of biology, uh, the Living Building Challenge, and also, as Dal talked about, the uh, Vedic Architecture Standards. Four different philosophies, all in one building. What you see here is uh, the Brahmastan column going up, and these were aspen trees harvested from sustainably from a stand near La Crosse, Wisconsin. They're lifting these uh, timbers into place and they're setting them on some pins and then they'll be temporarily bracing them. These timbers will support the main trusses, the roof trusses, which will extend to the outside walls. What's amazing about trees is that when they're left whole, as these are, they retain 50% added strength from an equivalent milled sized timber. We also use far less energy in the processing of the material. So the result is something that is akin to the strength of steel in compression and actually quite a bit stronger than steel in tension. And this is from something that literally is produced mostly from thin air. The carbon, the nitrogen, the oxygen, and the hydrogen both mostly originate from the air. Only a small portion of the minerals and nitrogen comes from the soil in effect. So this is an exciting, uh, really it's a, it's a carbon nanofiber. It's a very advanced material. We have to start to rethink of the incredible intelligence that's behind a tree and the architecture behind the tree. And this fits right into the programming of uh, Maharshi Yu as far as taking that natural intelligence and that natural um, uh, order of things and really inculcating it into the building. So that's, that's an exciting first step. I think on any campus in the United States, certainly.